what's going on everyone tech me out here and today i'm going to be showing you a tweak that is actually one of my favorite tweaks at this very moment and what it's known as is list launcher 9. so what list launcher does is it allows you to swipe to the right and instead of seeing that you know information in regards to news and series suggestions and all of that stuff that i'd rather not have you now have something that is more useful which is a list of all of your applications. You can even jump about from different letters by simply holding your finger over here and sliding down to the letter you wanna to get to and then releasing and now I'm in the P's. Now in the event that I want to search within Spotlight as I normally would, I can also still do that. So if I wanted to type in a specific app such as, yeah, that happens sometimes. I don't know if this happens because <laughs> of stuff I have installed and something might be conflicting with it, but um, yeah, that's something you may experience. If you do, then know that it is possibly something on the app's end or the tweak's end. If it doesn't happen to you, then it's probably just me and the stuff that I have with something conflicting with that particular tweak. It's funny because it's like out of all times that would happen when I'm doing the video, wouldn't it? But nonetheless, that is a list launcher. So like I said, you simply slide to the right and you get a list of all of your applications that you have installed. So you can quickly jump to them. And if you are the type like me that uses Android occasionally, this really reminds me of a launcher on Android known as Action Launcher, which will show you all of your apps that you have installed. But that's just, you know, a little side note. Now there aren't any settings for a list launcher so once you install it it is running you can't turn it on or off or configure anything about it you just install it and go but other than that that is it that I had to show you for this particular video so if you have anything else you want to mention in reference to this tweet whether it be you also experiencing what I experienced in this video or just your two cents in general regarding what you think about this tweet feel free to do that down below in the comment section if you want to stay further in touch with me and maybe even get a heads up on the progress of my next video you can follow me on my social sites which will be linked down below. But that's gonna sum everything up for this one. As always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.